there's a huge amount of plastic floating all over the world's oceans, and a teenager came up with a plan to get rid of it. Everybody's super excited about it and throwing millions of dollars at the project. And the only bad news is that there's probably no chance in hell it's actually going to work. Get ready for some hardcore skeptical buzz killing, you guys. Boy and Slat is the name of the creative young go-getter who came up with the idea of ocean cleanup. And the ocean cleanup project would consist of placing 6,500 foot long barriers in tidal zones where they would float in the ocean and basically collect the bits of plastic as currents drag them through the barrier. And according to ocean cleanup, they could do this without any impact on the native fish species that would be around the barrier. It's a lovely idea, but it's getting a lot of criticism from experts in the various fields that it touches upon, from engineering to marine biology. For instance, doctors Miriam Goldstein and Kim Martini are two oceanographers who published a detailed critical analysis of uh, Ocean Cleanup's feasibility report. And their criticisms have thus far gone pretty much completely unanswered by the organization for the past year as the organization prepares for its first big launch. Goldstein and Martini bring up a number of serious problems with the project. For instance, they note that in the feasibility study, the organization looked at a completely different ecosystem than the one in which they plan to make their first launch. That's a huge problem when you claim that your project isn't going to impact the native species. There's also the fact that the organization claims that most ocean plastic can be found in the top three meters of water, but the study they cite didn't probe below five meters, despite the fact that there's ample evidence to suggest that plastic mixes at deeper levels. Goldstein and Martini also point out that the barrier hasn't been tested in real world conditions. For instance, it was designed to be able to hold up to mean ocean currents and not maximum ocean currents, which means that immediately upon launch, there's a chance that this giant barrier could become the world's largest piece of garbage thrown in the ocean. Irony. Biologist Andrew David Thaler brought up a few more criticisms, including the fact that this enormous barrier will essentially become a fish aggregating device, like an apartment complex for various kinds of sea life. Things that are floating in the ocean, large stationary objects in the ocean, tend to attract prey animals, and prey animals tend to attract predators. And all of that will have a huge impact on migration. And also, all of those species are now going to be exposed to a very high density of plastic. Again, irony. Considering that SLAT hasn't responded to any of these valid criticisms, it sort of sounds as though he may have come up with what he thought was a really good idea and then done a feasibility study to support that idea, which, as we know, is not the way you do science. It should have been the reverse order. So instead of getting excited about a project that probably won't work and may actually damage fish populations and contribute to the amount of garbage in the ocean, let's talk real solutions. For a start, before we can talk about removing all of the plastic from the ocean, we first need to talk about how to stop throwing so much plastic in the ocean because we're continuing to do that. So for instance, Talk to your town officials and get them to ban plastic bags. That's been shown to have a huge effect on the amount of garbage flowing into the oceans. Also, stop using products with microbeads, the soaps and toothpastes with little tiny plastic beads that are supposed to exfoliate or whatever. All they do is go down the drain and into the ocean, and there's nothing we can do about it then. Even the ocean cleanup project, if it were working perfectly as described, wouldn't be able to catch those microplastic beads. And then we can talk about large public works projects, things like installing screens so that our runoff stops carrying our garbage into the ocean. And then finally, once we are no longer dumping 8 million tons of plastic every year into the ocean, we can talk about cleaning up the plastic that's already in the ocean. 